embrace your new season because God has a plan that must be fulfilled in you. Make a joyful shout unto God all the earth. Sing out the honor of his name and make his praise glorious. God bless you family. This is Overseer Dara Elliott and I'm excited to come to you today so we can talk about the things of God. It has been my goal to be able to come to you in your homes in this type of manner, in a much more comfortable manner. I'm gonna bring the word of God to you though every week so that you can receive a fresh word from the Holy Spirit that will impact your life. I hope that you would seek to, to, to gain a new level in the spirit gain a new level in your life that your family that your home would increase more and more so that you can see what god has for you and yours so i just want you to make sure you subscribe to our channel i want you to make sure that you also uh if you if it's on your heart to be a partner with us please just go ahead and send us a love gift send us a note of encouragement as well because we would love to hear from you and we want to be able to connect with you. I also want to tell you about the uh, Latter Rain Global Church and I'm really excited about this because we have pastors and leaders and lay people all around the world connecting to the global church and we believe that the body of Christ is still one and we do this in recognition of that reality. So make sure if it's on your heart, we're going to show you ways how you can connect with the Latter Rain Global Church. So let's get into the Word of God today, but before we do that, let's have a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your praise today. We thank you for your power and an opportunity to come together to receive from you, that you might bring clarity to our lives, that we might be able to walk in your glory, to grow in grace and grow in your spirit and to be better, Lord. Help us to be a blessing to our families and to our workspace and whatever we do in life in our communities that we will bring honor and praise to you breathe on me your servant right now in jesus name we pray amen 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 so let's thank the lord and let's look forward to all of his goodness so let's get into the word of god and i had a word for you today I wanted to talk about that it is a new day. And yes, it is a new day. So I, I want to share with you the word of God that concerns how prophetically you and I now must embrace what is the new. Not that which is old. Old things are passed away, but behold, all things are made new. We can say that. We can declare that. We can believe that. And we can receive that. So I want you to turn your Bibles to the book of Joshua chapter 1 and and when you get there I just want you to open up your spirit and let the Holy Spirit speak to you regarding this fact but it says here it says that after the death of Moses Moses the servant of the Lord it came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua the son of Nun Moses assistant Moses my servant is dead now therefore arise and go over this Jordan and all this people to the land which I am giving them, the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given you, as I said to Moses. From the wilderness to this Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river, the river Euphrates, and all the land of the Hittites, and to the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your testimony. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life as I was with Moses. So I will be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and of good courage. For this is the people you shall this for to this people. You shall divide as an inheritance the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left that you may prosper wherever you go. We thank God for his word. So we see here that Moses has now passed on and we see that God has now commissioned a new generation 
to step up and to be able to live up to what God has for his people. So now we have new leadership. And this leadership is now represented in Joshua. Joshua now is mandated to take the children of Israel to the next level. And as they are preparing for this next level, it is God that has to come to Joshua. And he says to Joshua, he said first that my, my servant Moses, he's dead now. And now that he's gone, I am now calling upon you to rise up to a new level. Now, let's, let's, let's unpack that for a second. Because we must realize that the old guard is moving on. We must, re we must recognize that we had a good season. But now it is time for the next generation to now step into their season. Step into their time. And, and, and I believe many of you watching me today, God has been dealing with you quietly on the inside. And he's been talking to you and telling you that you need to now come into who I've called you to be. Hey, don't be afraid and don't be discouraged. Know that God is with you. That's what he said to Joshua. I'm calling you. But I'm not calling you to just sing you by yourself. No, I'm calling you and I will be with you. And I want you to know that God is with you. God is with you going into your new season. But we must understand that in this where he says all of these things, he's not only saying go and, and just walk on and nothing's going to happen. No, as you go, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to increase you i'm going to uh make you to to gain like you've never seen before now i don't want to get into as if i am just teaching prosperity just to teach prosperity no god has reasons to bless his people we will talk about that but but let's focus on the turning of the season because it's not just money no, your season, some of you don't need money. There, let's face it. There are some of you today that the, you, you don't have a problem with money. But what's going on in the other parts of your life? You need to turn the page. And, and I want you to say out there, wherever you are, it is time for me to turn the page and you fill in the blank of what it is you need to turn the page on. Because we know that God wants you to move forward. I don't know what it is. It might be your job. It might be it might be something going on in your neighborhood. It might be your children. It might be your marriage. It, it could be anything. But it's time to turn the page. Somebody say, turn the page. Because if the page is turned, you know you can see a new unfolding to the big picture and to the story that God is writing. But let's focus on uh, uh, now in, in the moment. Let's talk about how God plans to prosper you, how God plans to bless you, because it is a new day. I believe that God's people need to come into a new level of blessing to be able to move forward in the overall picture that God is painting. And now you must say, I am blessed. I am, I am going to move forward. I'm going to walk in the blessings of God. And it is in my, it's in my obedience that I'm going to fulfill, fulfill this. I will see the blessings as I obey God more and more. Somebody's listening to me. You may have some sickness in your body right now. I want you to declare right now. This sickness in my body shall not prevail as I live in alignment with the word of God. Yes, we can declare the word of God over our body. I want you to still do the things you need to do. Take your medicine, see your physician, whatever it is you have to do. But at the same time, it is time to declare. This is the season of declaration. I want you to be able to say, I declare in the name of Jesus that I am moving forward. I'm going to now speak those things which are not as though they were. So I want you to say this to yourself. And the, and the thing is that God's word is very explicit about this. As you hearken to the word of the Lord, as you listen to his commandments, as you follow his statutes, he's going to bless you. And I don't want to get too far ahead of this because I want to pick up some more of this later on. But we want to know that the blessings of God are followed by obedience. So God comes to Joshua to declare himself to Joshua. To now present himself to Joshua and have Joshua present himself to the Lord as the next 
mandated and anointed leader for the new generation. It is my season. I want you to say that. It's my season. It's my time. We know the old guard has done what they were supposed to do, and we thank God for it. If, if it wasn't for them, we would not be in a good, favorable place. But we have so much more to accomplish, and God wants to accomplish it in you. Yes. Oh, you say, oh, Pastor, I'm only, I'm only 17. I'm only... 25. I'm only 30 years old, and I, I just work a me a little a little old job just getting by. And I, I'm I'm not I'm not uh, I didn't go to theology school, nor I, I haven't preached around the world like you have. No, no, no. God is not concerned about that right now. What God wants is people to say yes. And can you say yes today? What, what in terms of what God has for you to do? But you must be obedient. There's no way around it. We have to exercise obedience. But let's get into this. Why is it a new day and why is it that God wants to bless and prosper us? It's, for, it's not for naught. No, God wants to bless and prosper us for a reason. One, we must understand, is that God has a plan. Yes, that is the thing. We must know that God will bless us according to a plan. The plan is designed to have us to do something to glorify Him. So when you're going through something, and I'm sure somebody's right now sitting there, you don't know how you're going to pay some bills. You don't know how you're going to make it through. You don't know if you're going to be still in your place. You may not know if you're going to keep that high-paying position. You don't know how it's going to turn out with your children and your marriage. But God has a plan. Now, here's the thing. The Bible says that we don't know what God has prepared for us. The, the scripture says, eyes have not seen nor have ears heard the things which God has prepared for man. It's not even in your heart. You don't even know what it is that God has completely in store for you. But you know what? Your spirit knows. Down on the inside of your spirit, you know that God is leading you. You know God's taking you to a place called there. And I want you to say that today. I'm going there. And you, you're like, what is there? What is there? What? Please tell me what's there. No, 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 no. There is in the perfect will of God. And we know that if we're in the perfect will of God, everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be good with you and I if we just believe in there. Can you believe in there today? Say it. I am going there. We don't need to. Put a label or definition on all of it. We just need to say that God has a place prepared for you and I that's glorious, that is awesome, that is undeniably blessed and beyond our imagination. I've seen it. I've seen God do things that I never had in my mind that he would do, but he did them. And he did them in great manner and fashion. And and so so I want you to I want you to know that God has a plan. God has a specific place. God has a specific people that He wants you to connect with. God has specific jobs that He wants you to do. God has specific things He wants you to read. He has specific podcasts He wants you to hear. He has He has specific things that are in line with that plan and those steps that He wants you to take. So that you can receive the blessing. But because of this, we know the blessing is part of that plan. Because you're going to need the resources to be able to move forward and to do what you need at each point of your journey. As Abraham was walking and he was walking uh, based upon the promise of God. And that he was looking for the place that God promised for his people it said that God kept blessing Abraham as he walked. See, as he continued to walk, he kept getting blessed. Because the blessings were di directly tied to the plan. See, there's no reason for God to bless somebody who's outside the plan. I mean, he, he doesn't have, there's no, there's no, there's nothing actionable to that. God needs you, he needs you to be connected to a plan. You have to agree with the plan. You have to say, Lord, I surrender myself. I don't know everything. See, the thing is that we understand we, that we agree to a plan that we do, don't even know all the details with. But we know who the planner is. So we trust in the integrity of the planner, of the architect. We know that the architect is the ultimate artist. He, he's the ultimate 
painter. He's the ultimate drawer. He's the ultimate mathematician. And he is able to build like no one else can build. So we can put our faith in his abilities. Two, we know that God has also given us a promise. How about that? God has given us a promise. The promise is that he would never leave us nor forsake us. The promise is that if you do hearken unto my voice, I will bless you. The promise is that he is the keeper and he's the shade upon my right hand. Yes, we. the Bible says that we have so many precious promises. And because we have these promises, we can depend on him. And all of this takes place because the promise is the most integral part of this journey. The promise is that God is connected to the integrity that we need. And see, we know that he has integrity in his word. He has integrity and power to execute whatever we need executed. And so we can stand in his promise. I want you to say at home today, I stand on his promise. I believe in his promise. I will act on his promise. So God will bless you because he made a promise that he would bless you. How about that? If you, then he will. If you obey the voice of the Lord your God, you will be blessed. I want you to say, I'm going to be blessed today. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I like being blessed. I appreciate the blessings of God. They don't fail. They are without without harm. They are not something that you and I could ever think that is not going to be executed. Because God is connected to his word. And he says, I put my word even above my name. And since he puts his word above his name. And he puts his name above on the line with that word he will do what he said he will do don't don't think that god can't do or won't do what he said he will do but he says that you and i must we must believe in that promise it is faith that we know we stand in yeah i just want to give this word today because i believe that we are coming into a new season i believe every now and then we have to have a message of faith to reassure ourselves as we now boost up for the next journey. And I believe that we're coming to a paradigm moment in the body of Christ that we must be ready to shift in such a manner that we are ready to march to the next destination. God has blessed us with great cathedrals. God has blessed us with cars and houses, luxury homes and, and mansions and businesses and all this. But there's another level to this. And for those who haven't attained those things yet, your level is coming. I want you to get into this word. I want you to believe in the Bible. I want you to look at it and say, Lord, I believe. I stand on your word. I, I hear you. I will follow. I'm going to do this word. I'm going to work this word in a manner that is going to be productive and it'll show your praise. Well, let's move on to the last thing. The last thing is that we do know that God has a purpose. And that purpose that he has is also connected to this blessing. Because when he blesses us, he blesses us within the purpose. See, because the purpose is designed to glorify him. The purpose is to show his love upon your life. The purpose is designed to enable you and I to be able to move forward in a way that we've never seen before. I want you to say to the devil today, you're not going to hinder my purpose in God. I want you to now step up in spiritual warfare and say, there is nothing that God can't do and there's nothing that the devil will do to stop his purpose. I believe it and I stand on it. 
a lot of times we get so discouraged because we don't know the, about the purpose. We don't lock into the purpose. We don't remember the purpose. Say, I remember, I stand, I believe I'm going to receive. And you say it over and over and over again until you can manifest it. Now, I'm not talking about some new age just talking and you're, you're just saying the same thing and not doing anything. No, you are standing on the word. You're praying to the Holy Spirit. You're treating people right. You're giving to the work of the Lord and you're doing all of those things and with it is your confession. And then you must declare and speak it and say it so that the Lord can align with you and you can align with him and his word and all of these things start to come together to the point that you've so totally convinced yourself that there's nothing other, no other thing that can happen but God will bless you. Yes, this is the work of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. This is what we say in the, in the power of God. Yes. I believe it. I stand on it. I, 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 I'm making my reservation for what we call there. I'm making my reservation for the place we call there. I'm making my seat of, of ready to go. And I, 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 I'm going to punch my ticket to my blessing. I'm going to punch my ticket to, to good standing in God. Man, what, 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 what need is there to serve a God and you don't believe in the, the blessings? I don't understand how people can sit up here and ridicule anyone who's going to stand before the people of God and declare blessings to them. Do we need to say that God's plan is to curse you? No! God forbid! But some people will try to shut our mouths from speaking a blessing over you because they want to claim that everybody's just trying to get something out of somebody else, but that's a lie from the pit of hell. No, God has a plan for his people to move forward forward. And I want you to say today in the name of Jesus, I'm going to shout in my living room, from my bedroom, in my kitchen, wherever you are. I want you to shout and say, it is me, Lord. Even me shall it happen to. I believe it. And I don't care what has happened in your life. I don't care what has been in your background. I don't care how it seems impossible. Because we serve a God who loves the impossible. His name is connected to impossibility. He's the God that can speak and things materialize. We, we, we know this about our God. So we are not afraid of the impossible. We want to embrace it and we want to shout it. And we love the fact that God will bless us in such a way. That is amazing. That is, that is indescribable. And I want you to say it today. Lord, I thank you. Even me, it shall be accounted for. Even me, I will receive like I've never received before. I'm going to drink and eat of the good of the land because my God is with me. Yes, you can have that and you shall have that because it is God's purpose, plan. It's his design. It is, it's his mandate. He, he cares for you and he shall be with you. So my friends, I want you to receive this word today. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word. And Lord, we ask that your people receive it in great measure. Let your power come upon them. And Lord, we thank you for your praise and your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for coming today. I want you to continue to subscribe. I want you to continue to bless the ministry. The links are available. I want you to I want you to give as God has a portion to you. If you believe it's in your heart to tie to this ministry, you want to connect to the global church, we will also give you an opportunity to do so as well. And you we will make those links available and you can connect to the latter rank global church and we thank you and we thank all of our leaders around the world all of our people around the world we love you may god continue to do the work in you and i believe that you will see everything that god has for you god bless you